stoked to be in Austin. Oh. It's the home of Dell Computers, Whole Foods, and I mean, an amazing live music scene. I've been learning that record companies, uh, traditional record stores actually, are kind of on the decline. I mean, Tower Records close, Virgin sales are dropping. Okay, there is a little gem of a record store here in Austin called Waterloo Records. So I think we should go check out and see why this smart record store is still surviving. Let's check it out. We are looking for the owner of this store. Hey, I'm the owner of this joint. Hi. I'm Joan. Hi, Joan. Joan. I'm John. John, nice hey, John to Henry. meet you. Hey, Henry. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Great store. Cool. So how long have you been open? Uh, a little over 25 years. How, how do you stay open and flourish when yeah. companies like Tower Records uh, are dumping? And but I think it comes down to, you know, Austin and the folks that live here and how much they live, eat, breathe, sleep music. It's a live music capital of the world. Are you in a band? No, I'm not in a band right now. I just kind of play music. What do you play? I play guitar and bass guitar. Well, what do you think about us starting a band? Oh, I'm down. Can Are you? Sing? Yeah, what do you No. Play? You can't sing? No. It's okay, I can't either. Did you get a lot of people buying oh, yeah. vinyl? Yeah, a lot of folks. I mean, you know, it's, in fact, it's making a huge comeback. Why are you still doing the vinyl thing? I can remember, you know, sitting in the dark with my father, spinning vinyl, you know, that blue light from the Morant sound system, all of that. We, we played records, so I still deal with the records. Yeah. What makes your store unique? Being able to listen to anything in the store, being able to bring it back if you're not satisfied with it. You know, everything in the store is arranged alphabetically by artists. We don't break it down into sections, so, you know, it's just, it's... Miles Davis is under D, not under jazz, you know, but that also means there's, you know, some some cool things that you're going to find around there. Do you play any musical instruments? No, I'm just a roadie. Do you want to play a musical instrument? Love to. What would you like to play? Be a drummer. We got our drummer right okay. here. Does listening to music make you smart? Absolutely. The continuity of it, the flow of it, the, the mathematics of it. Do I look like a groupie type? We are in stuff. our first band fight right now. There's too many egos here. I don't, I don't know if I can work with this, no, kind, no, of, no. this kind of tension. <laughs> I'm going to take a break. You have somebody playing today? Yeah, we do. Are they cute? They're cute. Uh, Brandon, tell us about your band. Uh, hello, we're a rock band. Our name is Magnet School. We're from Austin, Texas, and uh, today's our city release party. Thank you so much for hey. your time. Really appreciate it. Henry, Jenna, it was great having y'all in. I'm so glad y'all popped in. It was I great. Your store is fabulous. Uh, one of the spokes in the wheel of the Austin music community. It's a music town. So let's go check out some music at Emos. I let's get it, it done after it. you. <laughs> we'll see you next time on The Smart Show.